Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about a book with a really interesting title. The book is called Linear Algebra Done Right. So I guess it claims to do linear algebra the right way. So I picked up this book uh, at a library because someone uh, made a comment about it in one of my videos. And I thought, oh, I should just totally check it out. I've heard of it before. Uh, it's a famous book. Um, so I spent some time uh, reading this book. So this is the table of contents. It starts off with complex numbers, and then it jumps right into vector spaces, then subspaces, sums and direct sums, and then exercises. Then it goes on to finite dimensional vector spaces, then linear maps. Then it goes on to polynomials, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, inner product spaces, operators on inner product spaces, operators on complex vector spaces, then operators on real vector spaces, and then determinant, trace and determinant. So it doesn't talk about determinants until chapter 10. And that's what makes this book uh, so different. The author clearly states that in the preface to the instructor. It says, you are probably about to teach a course that will give students their second exposure to linear algebra. During their first, first brush with the subject, your students probably worked with Euclidean spaces and matrices. In contrast, this course will emphasize abstract vector spaces and linear maps. Yeah, it's a proof-based book, and the proofs are really well, well written. The audacious title of this book deserves an explanation. Right, so the author goes on and basically says that he does everything without determinants, so he does determinant-free proofs, right? In contrast, the simple determinant-free proofs and they are absolutely beautiful. This is an awesome book. So the readability of this book is just hard to beat. Um, it's very easy to read. I read this book, um, you know, casually, right? I picked it up from a library, so I picked it up. I read it. I didn't have a pencil and paper next to me. I just read through it, and I was able to understand almost everything uh, without having to reach for a piece of paper. I mean, it really reads nice. He explains everything really, really well. Uh, Sheldon Axler does a fantastic job uh, with this book. Now keep in mind, this is a proof-based linear algebra book, so uh, it's ideal that you would have some experience writing proofs before you jump into this book. So I don't think it's a beginner book by any means. Uh, ideally, you have some proof writing experience or some linear algebra experience, or better, uh, maybe both, right? But this book does a fantastic job uh, for what it is. Uh, a proof-based linear algebra course. One negative about this book is that there are no answers in the back of the book, so there's plenty of exercises and they're pretty good, um, but there's no answers. Um, I have not uh, attempted the exercises, I just kind of looked at them and I thought, oh yeah, I can do that, or oh yeah, I'd have to think about that. Um, so they, they seem to range from easy to medium to difficult. It's a solid set of exercises, but after reading uh, some of the sections and looking at the exercises, I thought, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could do that, or I know how to start that proof, or, or I can do that. So they're not uh, too difficult for the most part. So they're at the right level for the content that is being explained in the textbook. And just to comment again on the title, Linear Algebra Done Right, the author does do it right, and uh, I mean, he claims he's doing it right because he's not talking about um, determinants until the end, but honestly, uh, he's a really good writer. Um, he's doing it right because he explains really well. It's a really good book. Uh, Sheldon Axler is definitely doing it right. Um, this is a really good book. Um, I don't own this book, but I am seriously considering uh, purchasing it and adding it to my library. I think I probably will uh, just go ahead and just buy this book. So again, the book is Linear Algebra Done Right, and it's written by Sheldon Axler. So um, this is a great book. This is probably one of the most interesting, well-read linear algebra books I have ever uh, looked at. So worthy of a title, maybe, uh, for many reasons. That's it.